Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we look at Nicholas Sturgeon and an interview with the insane man himself, Piers Moran Morgan. <laughs> and it's titled, it's in the Express and it's titled, He Only Speaks for England. Nicholas Sturgeon Diminishes Boris Johnson's Role as Pre-M. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Rotten politics in this country at the moment. Now, everybody knows I'm a unionist. I, I love the, our union. But it's getting very difficult to when you've got ankle bite a sturgeon constantly sowing division in the country. But let's watch the video first, everyone. You, know, you may not want to uh, criticise Boris Johnson, but you yourself said you don't understand what this stay alert new message is. But what is clear from this new message is he's abandoned stay at home. No, what's been made clear, Morgan, is that you think you're cleverer than everybody else. And most people this morning, from what we're picking up, are now taking that as a sign that actually we don't have to stay at home anymore, which seems to me, given the state of this battle with the virus, unbelievably reckless. It's amazing to have an amazing mind like Piers is protecting us, isn't it? Look, he's taking decisions that he thinks are right for England. He's the Prime Minister of the UK, so when he talks about things like border control, he's talking for the UK. But in terms of easing the lockdown restrictions or changing the message, it, that is for England. And I have a, a responsibility to judge you things. You said you don't understand it. I mean, and if you, you, First Minister of Scotland, doesn't understand the new slogan of the UK government. That's pretty serious, isn't it? Now, as you could tell from that, everyone, Piers was obviously trying to get Sturgeon to say something she was going to later regret. She did quite well with that in, in regards to that. In regards to what she was saying, though, it's all about Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. We don't care that we're in the United Kingdom. Well, I'm sorry, but your people do. But we'll, we'll read through it and let, let me know what you think. Nicola Sturgeon diminishes Boris Johnson's role as Prime Minister of the UK as he highlighted on ITV's Good Morning Britain that on, that on Lurgy he only speaks for England. Now this woman says and has done numerous times says she thinks of Scotland but now all of a sudden it's not acceptable for Boris to think of England. Totally untrue by the way. Boris is a unionist. Otherwise, he would have cut them loose a long time ago with the way he, she keeps jumping the gun, thinking that her role is more important than the role of the Prime Minister of the entire nation, the entire country. But let's like, carry on anyway. Speaking on ITV, the, first, the Scottish First Minister claimed Boris Johnson only speaks for England when it comes to Lurgy Rules updates. Appearing in front of a banner reading, Stay at home, Nic Nicola Anklebiter Sturgeon claims she part parted from the Prime Minister's latest Lurgy advice to the nation on Sunday as Scotland is still behind in its fight against Lurgy. So she's effectively saying the country's elected leader is insignificant compared to me. You see where that's, that's, that's going? Well, sod you, Sturgeon. If you're Scot in Scotland listening to this, stay at home. You know, at this point, I'm, I'm starting to think, should we just build a wall, let her continue to just destroy Scotland, and then if any Scottish Unionist people want to come and live in England, you're more than welcome. I had a conversation with the Prime Minister last week. I made very clear to him my view that we should stick with the stay-at-home message. And your view is more important. Why? She added, the Prime Minister is entitled to decide what message is appropriate for England. No, he's, he's entitled to decide what message is appropriate for the entire nation, the entire country, the United Kingdom. You know, the one that your people voted to stay in. Yet yeah, that one. I'm not here to criticise Boris Johnson, and yet you already are. We've all got difficult decisions to make. We're all trying to make them to the best of our ability. You you are trying to sow division in the country. You're basically effectively saying that Scottish shouldn't listen to the, the, the English, even though the English are not trying to tell you anything. It's as a nation that we're trying to tell you something. I honestly think at this point, Sturgeon and the SNP are going to destroy Scotland if they let her. I think it's an important point to stress. It's not a political point, it's actually a point of law. The lockdown restrictions are in place separately in all four of the UK nations. So the Prime Minister in England, myself in Scotland, the First Ministers of Wales. So she's effectively 
advocating the split here. That if, if you read into that, she's advocating the split. So, i.e., the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is no longer the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom because she said so. He's now the Prime Minister of just England. She's the Prime Minister of Scotland. You see where that's going? She is a divisive little terror. The First Ministers of Wales and Northern Ireland all have to look at the data in our own countries and come to decisions. I actually think at this point the British, or should I say the English, Sturgeon, the English should be able to vote you out. Not out of power in Scotland, but Scotland out of the United Kingdom altogether. By, you know, one of them. Confronted by Piers Morgan. I'm only joking, by the way. I have a lot of Scottish friends and I, I am very, very loyal to them. They're all unionists and they all hate this little ankle biting, wee cranky, wee nipper. Confronted by Piers Morgan on the fact that the Prime Minister was talking to the whole nation on Sunday night when he changed the stay at home slogan to stay alert, the Scottish min Minister said, if you live in Scotland, you should listen to what I'm saying. In England, it is the Prime Minister, she added. How dare she? And let's have a look at exactly how Piers Morgan took that, shall we? If I did have a mild criticism of him, it was that he didn't make sufficiently clear that his messages on lifting lockdown were for England. And, and this he is didn't not say a it at all. I mean, let's be quite clear, First Minister. He didn't mention England. Yeah, he was talking as the UK Prime Minister. You're having a go at me here. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not having a go at you. No, I'm he, having a go he's at He's sharing him. his exasperation I'm with not you. Dis now, even Piers Morgan had to pull her up on the uh, England one. <laughs> Fair play to him, I suppose. And Sturgeon's first response to that was to say, you're having a go at me. Do you notice the platitude afterwards of both of them going, no, I'm not having a go, honest, I'm not having a go. I am. <laughs> She's basically trying to subside all of the power away from the United Kingdom and just place it all on herself in Scotland. Are you listening, Scotland? Because if she gets her way, just as an example, she won't, but if she got her way and you did become completely separate, you've got no oil prices at the moment, it's all tanking, it's through the floor. She wants to lock you up forever apparently which is going to crash any economy you've got up there make you all out of work you know see where she's going with this it's not going to work we should be working as a nation not as individuals bickering and that's what this is this is the the scottish snp bickering because they don't like the fact that they've not got complete control over scotland and that's what it's all about control over scotland Wales and Northern Ireland also disregarded the Prime Minister's attempt to ease lockdown rules in the country and both stuck to the stay-at-home message ahead of Boris Johnson's address. You better hope he isn't right then, aren't you? Because otherwise, your people are going to turn on you for keeping them locked, locked down and all of the self-employed have gone out of work and all the pubs have gone out of business and all the shops have gone out of business. Ministers in Northern Ireland aim to push their plan for exiting lockdown on Tuesday, First Minister Arlene Foster said. She refused to be drawn on newspaper reports that a five-point schedule has been drawn up but said restrictions on outdoor activities would be eased before indoor ones. I can understand that, that's fair enough, is it not? The DUP leader told the BBC's Good Morning Ulster programme that the position around when to reopen schools has not yet been decided but suggested it could be in late August or early September. The chairman of the British Medical Association, BMA, said that he does not know on what basis the government has made the decision to loosen lockdown rules and change the message from stay at home to stay alert. Well, it's got nothing to do with you really, has it? It's the government that controls what message goes out to the people, not the medical association. Your job is to advise the government. Is it not? I think you're getting ahead of your station. Dr. Ch Chand Nagpal told BBC Breakfast, I'm not sure on what basis the government has made this decision in England. And remember, we should only ease the lockdown when, first of all, we feel for safe to do so. At the moment, we have more people dying on Saturday than we had at the beginning of the lockdown. We've also seen about 4,000 new cases every day over the weekend. I do not trust any of these numbers i don't know if you're the same but it seems like they've got a big board on the wall with loads of numbers on it and they th throw a dart over the shoulder and just pick out whatever it is because there's no regimented source of these numbers is there it's all 
you go to one source, it says one thing. You go to another source, it says another. You go to the media, it says another. It go, you go, you understand what I mean? It's all lies. And that's just a fraction of the real number of cases because of the limited testing. So there's a considerable amount of community circulation of the virus going on. Testing to see if you've got it is what we need. I th suspect they're talking about there is the antibody test, but wouldn't that just highlight all? So if you've had the flu or a cold, you would have the antibodies that would be the same antibodies that fight the Lurga. Is that right? I mean, I'm not too sure. I'm not a scientist, as I know. If anyone's watching, um, if that is incorrect, can you let me know in the comments? Please. <laughs> and if we now allow the public to go to local parks in an unlimited sense and to go outdoors, what we've not heard is how the government will enforce social distancing and how it will avoid a whole neighbourhood playing in the park with footballs moving from one group to another and spreading the disease. They think we're incapable, don't they? They, they actually want to take all of the personal responsibility away from absolutely everybody. Let me just tell you at this point, I do not need to be told about social distancing if i want to go to a park i can still social distance it is up to each and every individual to social distance and to start going how it will be enforced just shows me how how much of an authoritarian your mindset actually lives in you understand why i'm coming with that so i'm really concerned that there is no clarity and as regards people getting back to work, millions of workers in construction and manufacturing, there's no information of how, practically, we will be able to ensure social distancing. Right, what's my opinion on this? In regards to that last part, there is no, no way how, practically, of doing anything at the minute. This is a novel virus, which means it's never been done before. It's never been seen before. So everybody is going to have to trial and error it. Are they not? This is just more, more scaremongering at the end, but in regards to Sturgeon, I honestly believe she's going to keep going and keep going and keep undermining and keep undermining and keep thinking she's more important to the Scottish people. And let me tell you at this point, if you're Scottish and you've not seen this woman for what she truly is, i.e. a EU shill, you never will, in my opinion. Now, I am well aware there are more people in Scotland that want to stay part of the United Kingdom than she would like to make out um, and I am hoping that they can make enough noise to knock her off her slot because the SNP are going to destroy Scotland in my opinion, they really are and more than likely they'll probably take down the United Kingdom in, in, in its process as well and I will not stand for that in my opinion. Let me know what you think though, do you think this woman is just flapping her lips for flapping her lips reasons just because she can do you think she should be told do you think she should be reprimanded maybe because at the minute we are we are a united kingdom are we not we are not separate nations and for her to assume she has the right to make it that way is a disgrace now at this point i'd like to say sturgeon does have a right to have an opinion what i take her umbrance at is that she actually came out before boris yesterday and gave this gave all of this information out so this is twice that she's jumped the gun and i i don't appreciate that that's div divisive the prime minister is not the prime minister of england he is the prime minister of the united kingdom whether you like the fact that he governs scotland as well or not it is beside the point this is party political this is you trying to undermine everything that comes out of westminster for your own political gain at the detriment of your own people but anyway let me know what you think if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the like comment subscribe hit the bell icon and put it on all if you want to be notified of any new videos share it out if you are an amazing person <laughs> and i'll see you on the next one everyone